All right, so I'm going to show you guys how to level up your tech skills or your piloting skills in a very quick way. So I have to kill 30 ships for piloting. Uh, actually, that's the only thing I have. But yeah, if you want to level up your tech skills uh, to get those infamous class B or class C unlocks, then this is probably going to be the fastest way to do it. So what you want to do is head to the mass building. And this is where the UC Vanguard quest line starts from. You can talk to Tuala over there. Um, I think you do have to talk to him to get access to the pilot simulator, which is where we're heading. And once you get to the pilot simulator, you might have to talk to this man right here, who gives you a questionnaire or whatnot. But we're gonna walk by him and go inside the simulation. So you need to kill like certain ships. I think for targeting, I can't open up my skills menu, but for targeting, I think you need to kill ships while in targeting mode. Uh, and then the piloting, you just have to kill 30 ships. So you've probably done this already if you started the Vanguard quest line. So just sit in the seat. This is proven to work because I've done it. I've done it a couple times to level up my piloting. I'm going to put some points into that. We don't need a grab drive, so we're going to put that there. I don't really think I need too much engine. I like to power up my weapons. Uh, I'll keep the shields powered. Let's see. Let's do five. Okay. So yeah, all I have to do is just... You can reset the simulation whenever you want. All you have to do is exit the simulation and then jump back in. And having fa having fast turning is so good. Also, a couple ship tips. If you boost away, enemies cannot lock on, lock on to you. So it's a good way to not get completely obliterated. And there we go. Tier one done. So you just keep doing this until you level up the skills you want, which is pretty nice. It's pretty efficient too, you don't have to, uh, previously I was trying to level up my piloting by just jumping from system to system hoping to get into a dogfight. <laughs> this is so much more consistent because you can, um, just hop into the simulation, you can reset to tier 1 or 2, and go from there. He's boosting away, so I can't lock on. Let's try to keep up with him. Cool. Oops. Keep forgetting, tab is not how you exit. So we'll, we'll do up to tier 3 so I can show you. How much progress you can make. Actually, we should try all, four, all six tiers. Bam. Pretty simple. The ship is actually pretty good. Alright, we got progress. We're up to 15. I am halfway there. Alright, so after tier 3, you can leave the simulation if you want. But we might as well keep going. See how far we can go. Alright, I'm going to stop at tier 5 because I barely made it out of there. <laughs> Definitely need to upgrade my weapon skills. All right, so once you're done, New once you're done with the simulation, just head on out, and you can exit. Five of six is not bad, honestly. And there you go. I uh, made some progress in my piloting skills. You don't get any, the only thing is you don't get experience. You don't get ex, like your experience bar. So this is a good way to grind challenges. So I need to kill n uh, nine more ships. I already have the targeting skill, so I'm not sure what else you need for these other weapon system upgrades. You probably need to like regenerate shields or get kills with the energy weapon, so. So that's how you uh, grind challenges for your ship, if you were wondering how to do it quickly and efficiently. Uh, I will be posting, I'll be posting some more Starfield content once I, once I come up with them. So if you enjoyed the video, if it helped you at all. Hit that subscribe button. We'll be, we will be back with some more videos. Thanks for watching.